One of these AI picks gets left swipe, the other gets matches, and the difference is in the prompt. So this video is gonna tell you how to make AI dating pick prompts that actually get matches. Okay, so what actually makes a good prompt? So I'm gonna leave this and any other resources I mentioned in the description of this video. But the first part of a good prompt is you wanna define the subject. So the subject meaning you in this case. So with AI photos, I think all you really need to say is your clothing style because if you're making AI pics of yourself using an AI model of yourself or with images of yourself, then it already knows stuff like, you know, your body type, your ethnicity and so on. So to say like clothing style, for example, is man in a suit. Number two, you want to define the setting slash activity. So that means where you are and what you're doing. So for example, seated at an upscale hotel lounge table and then style slash medium. So for dating and social media, you usually want to go with casual iPhone style versus looking like you paid $5,000 for a professional photo shoot. So you might type something like candid iPhone photo and candid means unposed or natural. All right, so next up is lighting and mood. So the lighting and the mood of the pic, this could mean like golden hour, so around sunset, natural light, warm tones. You wanna to avoid stuff that's like harsh flash, overly moody slash dark, unless you're going for that style of pic. So for example, a good one might be warm evening light. All right, so next is composition and camera. So for example, shot type, medium shot, which means waist up, close up, which is like face showing, and full body is full body. Camera angle is eye level, slightly below, over the shoulder, stuff like that. Lens feel, so if you type 35 mm lens, that's good for candid pics. And gaze, so for example, you know, you're looking at the camera, you're looking slightly off camera, candid mid laugh. Okay, so now let's go over how to actually make a prompt now that we know how to structure a prompt. So obviously the first thing is you could just write it yourself. You would fill in all the things that I just went over, but write whatever you want. Another way is just send that structure that I just talked about and that's gonna be in the description to ChatGPT. So say something like, using the prompt structure below, send a prompt for, for example, a hiking pic that would generate a pic that would get lots of matches and dates with beautiful women. And then just some notes before you actually make the prompt. Short prompts are bad because it can end up looking like a generic stock photo or like a LinkedIn profile picture, like from the beginning of the video. And then long prompts can also be bad, like I'm talking super long, because then it's like too many details, the AI ends up messing it up where it ends up looking super AI or weird. For example, your face might look weird or something. And I think medium length is good, so it's like not too short, not too long. I try to limit it to 300 characters or so, because you know, in that length for a prompt, you can get the important details, but still keep it clear and to the point. And depending on the app, you might have to try the same prompt more than once to get a good pick. So you can use any AI image generator for this, but I'm gonna use the custom prompts feature on chadgbtapp.com for this video. And if you wanna follow along, I'll leave a link to the app in the description and also pinned comment so you can try it out. But first, let's make a prompt. All right, so if you remember, I said you wanna have these five things in a prompt, and then you know you can just fill something in. So for example, subject, I just put well-dressed man in tailored gray suit, so it describes the outfit that I mentioned earlier. Setting slash activity, seated at upscale hotel lounge table. Style and medium, like I said, candid iPhone photo is usually pretty good. Lighting and mood, warm ambient evening light. And composition and camera, medium shot, 35 mm relaxed pose. So let's try this one out. All right, so I just put it in the prompt box and I'm gonna hit generate. All right, so here's what I got with that prompt. Looks pretty good, as you can see, it's the image from the beginning of the video. And now let's try making a prompt with ChatGPT. So what we can do is just paste the prompt that I just used, and then we can type something like, using the prompt structure below, send a prompt for, and then type of pick. So let's try a hiking pick, and then limit prompt to 300 characters. All right, so this is what I got, let's try it out. 
All right, so here is the pick that I got with the hiking prompt that I just showed you. So not bad, looks natural, like, you know, I'm just mid hike, not posing or whatever, kind of cool background. All right, and then last thing, how to edit or revise a prompt. So let's just say you got this pick, right? And you wanted to change the outfit or something. You could just, you know, type in the prompt instead of having fit man in an athletic long sleeve maybe you could just change that to like t-shirt and then let's just say setting slash activity you want to change it to something like a lake in the background you could do that like you know on mountain trail lake in the background or if you don't want to write you could just send the prompt to chat gpt and ask it to edit for you depending on what you want but yeah it's pretty simple that's all you need to come up with prompts for AI picks. Let me know in the comments if you thought it was helpful or if you think there's anything else I should cover. And if you want to get realistic AI dating photos that actually get matches like this, check the pinned comment to try the Chad GPT app. And if you want to get a prompt library with nearly 100 prompts optimized for dating and social media, check the pinned comment to join the Chad GPT school community. So the premium option in the community includes my AI online dating course, which covers everything you need to know to succeed in online dating using AI, but also in general. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.